everyone so today we are learning first in first out method of inventory valuation okay of finding the historical cost of inventory now first in first out method as the name itself suggests whatever goods or lot of goods or stock is purchased first the same is issued first okay. so whatever lot of goods are in first will be out first so your stock your closing stock will be will consist consist of latest consignments or your latest purchases now remember this is a method of valuation of inventory that is to calculate the historical cost of inventory the actual movement of stock may be different okay depending on the nature of the business okay now we'll see one example on first in first out first in first out method a manufacturer has the following record of purchase of condenser which he uses while manufacturing radio cells so manufacturer he has the record of purchase of condensers now this is used for purpose of manufacturing radio sets that is it is a purchase of raw materials okay so accordingly date quantity units and price per units is given and then the following are the details of the issues that were made okay in that you have date and quantity units okay calculate value of closing stock as per fifo method now in this there are two ways one way is you maintain a stock register and then calculate the value of stock as per fifo method there is one more way which we will see it later on okay so first we will see this statement showing inventory valuation okay i have prepared a statement the format is quantity received date units rate quantity issued date units balance units rate and value okay now let's start december 4 okay quantity 900 units are purchased at the rate of rupees 5 per unit so december 4 december 4 900 units are purchased at the rate of 5 per unit quantity issued on that date is nil so balance stock is 900 into 5 so that becomes 4500 now the next next transaction is issues were made as follows december 5th you have a issue of 600 unit so december 5 so there are no quantity received you have quantity issued on december 5 how much is that 600 unit so the stock was 900 out of this 900 600 are issued so your balance stock is 300 into 5 that comes to 1500 okay now the next transaction next transaction is on december 10 December ten, there is purchase of how much? Four hundred units at the rate of five point five. So December ten, purchase of how much? Four hundred units, right? At the rate of five point five, correct? Then there are no issues on this day. so issues will be nil nil now the stock will be one carry forward of the previous stock 300 into 5 that is 1500 and here 400 into 5.5 so that comes to 2200 so stock as on december 10 is how much Seven, three thousand seven hundred. Now the next transaction. Next transaction is on December eleven. Again, there is a 
purchase of 300 units at 5.5 so december 11 300 units at the rate of 5.5 no issues on this day so the stock will be carry forward of the previous stock 300 into 5500 400 into 5.5 is 2200 300 into 5.5 that comes to 1650 so total stock here is 5350 5, okay now the next transaction next transaction is on december 12 there is issue of 400 units so december 12 there is no purchases there is issue of how much 400 units okay now this 400 will be issued from since it's a fifo method first in first out this 400 will be issued from 300 at the rate of rupees 5 and 100 at the rate of rupees 5.5 that is from this and 100 from this okay so the stock will be here out of 400 100 have gone so 300 into 5.5 that is 1650 and 300 into 5.5 that is again 1650 so the total stocks comes to 3300 as on december 12 now the next transaction next transaction is on december 19 purchase of 200 units at the rate of rupees 6 so december 19 purchase of how much is the units purchase of 200 units at the rate of rupees 6 so purchase of 200 unit at the rate of rupees 6 there are no issues on this date now the stock will be 300 into 5.5 that is 1650 300 to 5.5 again 1650 then the latest purchases that is 200 into 6 1200 so total stock will be 4500 correct now the next transaction next transaction is on december 28 again there is purchase of 800 units at the rate of 4.75 so december 28 okay so purchase of how much 800 units at 4.75 so 800 units the rate of 4.75 there are no issues on this date so the stock will be 300 into 5.5 that is 1650 300 into 5.5 that is again 1650 200 into 6 that is 1200 then 800 into 4.75 that comes to 3800 now the total will be 8300 okay now the next transaction the next transaction is on december 29 600 units are issued so I'll put it here December 29 
there are no purchases but number 29 600 units are issued now this 600 units will be 300 into 5.5 and 300 into 5.5 that is from these two lots since it's a FIFO method first in first out method okay so what will be the balance in the closing stock it will be 200 into 6 that is 1200 800 into 4.75 that is 3800 so the stock value of the stock or historical cost of the stock as on December 29 is 5000 and the quantity is 1000 so this is one way of preparing or calculating the historical cost using the FIFO method and whenever we are maintaining a stock register or stock ledger now there is one more way of calculating it's a shortcut way I'll tell you how now here if you see the quantity now since it's a FIFO method your closing stock will be valued at a latest purchases correct latest purchases so what we are doing is first we will find out quantity of closing stock quantity of closing stock okay so how much is total purchases total purchases minus total issues okay during the month will give you the quantity of stock now total purchases is how much 2600 correct you have it here then total issues total issues is how much 1600 so the quantity of closing stock is 1000 now this 1000 will be from your latest purchases so let's see what is the latest purchase latest purchase is december 28 so december 28 800 into 4.75 that is 3800 but your quantity of closing stock is thousand so there has to be 200 more units in the closing so so for 200 unit what is a second last purchase it's December 19 200 units into 6 so that comes to 1200 so total value of your closing stock is 5000 so this is one more way of calculating closing stock as per FIFO method okay that's it about first in first out method of calculating the historical cost of a inventory or a closing stock Thank you.